This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2004 Ford F-350 regular cab, dual rear wheel. It's a 6.0 turbo diesel. It's four wheel drive. It's an XL, which is the uh, crank windows, vinyl floor. Um, it does have an AM FM radio, tilt wheel, uh, blah, 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 bed liner, tow package, cruise control. Um, this truck has 23,478 actual miles. Um, it came from uh, an insurance company in Kansas City, Missouri. It was a theft recovery. It was sold to us on a salvage title due to theft, not collision. Um, there are before pictures. In the before pictures, you'll see it doesn't have a tailgate. So they stole the tailgate, and it doesn't have a hood. Uh, in fact, in the picture, you see the hood face down on the ground in front of it. So apparently the cops showed up right when they were about to steal the motor because the motor showed up uh, and everything was fine and it drove you know, off the shipping truck when we got it. We just uh, got some bolts and put the hood back on. A few little scrapes on the hood from being upside down on the ground and that's it. Um, we had a used tailgate. That wasn't with the truck. We did have a used tailgate from one of our other trucks that we gave it and uh, that's that. When we get here we do an inspection. This is what the inspection looks like. Um, let's see. It, we replaced number five and number seven injectors. We believe that this truck was a farm vehicle because there was a bunch of hay in the bed uh, and it probably never saw the road. I would imagine it probably pulled stuff up and down rows, uh, you know, trailers, whatever. Uh, and that's why it's got such low miles. Um, and it's, it's so straight, it probably didn't have many interactions with traffic. Um, so anyway, uh, number five and number seven, probably due to lack of use more than anything. Um, an air filter, both batteries are new. Rotella oil change with the filter. Sway bar links are new. The driver door lock cylinder and the dr outside driver door handle are new. That was broken when they stole it. The ignition was broken, uh, so we had to replace that. And it had a cracked windshield. Um, the tailgate is used, we had that. And that's that. Now, when uh, you get a uh, salvage title and a theft recovery, it doesn't mean it's wrecked. You'll see that in the pictures. It's, aside from this dent in the front bumper here uh, and the damage from laying the hood, this is about it, a little bit of this. This is the hood that you'll see in the pictures on the ground. Um, this is the truck. Uh, I think they were trying to get ready to start parting this thing out. And... They got uh, busted in just in time. But uh, anyway, they give them a salvage title because the attorneys at the insurance companies uh, don't want the insurance company to have any liability. Uh, when they sell it to us on the salvage title and we sell it to you and you get killed in it, there's no way it can go back to the insurance company. Uh, no one could say, well, you sold it on a clean title and these people got killed and Geico or Progressive or State Farm has a lot more money than Wheel Kinetics. So let's sue them. <laughs> That's how that works. Okay, so the salvage title is basically their last dealing with this vehicle. Um, if they gave it a clean title, there's a possibility a really creative attorney could come back and get them uh, somehow. So that's why they do it. Nothing to do with the truck, which is kind of obvious, but crank windows. Look at the door panels. I don't think anyone ever sat in the passenger seat. I don't, look at the interior. I don't see many work truck interiors like that. Look at the floor. It has a manual. There's the wheel lock key. And just some minor little chips down here, but on a dually, that's almost nothing. The front tires are really high rubber. The rears are probably 20 or 30 percent, I would say. Maybe a little more. Maybe 40 percent. They're fine. For, the fronts are fine for a long time. The rears look like they got at least, at least another 5,000 in them. But please look at the pictures, zoom in, and you'll be able to. This is the tailgate we gave it, so this is going to be the roughest part. It's got some rock chips on it. Not too bad. You got all kinds of light packages. This is probably for the multiple trailers they had, this extra one. They probably, who knows, hay or whatever they were doing. Do you have a fifth wheel hitch back here? And another plug back here. It's got a little scrape right here. My brother took this thing out, took uh, uh, somewhere around 60 HD pictures of the inside and out, uh, including undercarriage. 
Um, please look at those. There'll be a little device that you can uh, use that you can zoom in on anything you see. Cosmetics are really easy with our ads. And then the uh, mechanics, we try to get into as much as we can. Obviously, we're not fortune tellers, but we do this all day, every day, and we have for a long time. Diesel trucks, especially 6.0s. So what we know, we tell you. There are no secrets here. There is no reason to have a secret. The Internet's a beautiful thing. This door handle's new. The lock cylinder's new. There's some of the damage that they did when they probably use a little white touch-up paint. You can see that. But uh, we had to replace the handle and the cylinder and the ignition. So I'm going to fire this thing up. Wait a second. And boom. Twenty three thousand four hundred ninety three miles. All right, people want to know what this is, what Kelly's on, on these vehicles are. So I provide Kelly's almost every time now when I can. I have time. Twenty three thousand mile XL uh, regular cab, suggested retail price of fifteen thousand two hundred and thirty seven dollars. Uh, two door, four wheel drive, six O. There's the equipment. That's that, okay? Look at the seats of this thing. Absolutely like new. Anyway, I'm gonna open up the hood. We're gonna look at the, uh, take the oil cap off and look for a blow-by. We're also gonna look for Ford stamps on both sides of, both fenders and both sides of the core support. There's a Ford stamp there. Should be another one right there, and there it is. Zero blow-by. That is excellent, which you would expect with that low of miles, but still nice to see. Uh, there's a Ford stamp there, and another one here. New batteries on each side. It had an oil change. <laughs> the only thing that's funny is my guys use the wrong color bolts uh, to put the hood on. That's funny. But this is the hood you see on the ground, and those before it left. Uh, those pictures before it left Kansas City. That's funny. Eh, whatever. All right, we have uh, tilt wheel. That's up. That's down. That works fine. All right. Just the seat up for the short person. Get a seat belt on. All righty then. All right, radio. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Women's work. Radio works. Awesome. Radio works fine. Air conditioning. It's about 88 degrees right now in Tucson, and it is blowing ice cold. That works. Perfect. Air blows perfect. Little brake control there. What else we got? Let's see, we got tow haul right there on, off, on and off. Oh, you got cruise control here. This is gonna go quickly because of the miles and the condition. This is gonna be a really nice truck. This will be a fun truck to take the lakes here. All right, let me go all the way back. And now we're in drive. Back farther, huh? There we go. Duh. For low. For low is all the way back, not halfway back. And reverse. That's granny gear. That is for low. All right. Now, I gotta make sure I go by. There we go. That's for high. There we go. Boom. That's for high. That's a little more like it. That, that you could drive, and that's for high in uh, reverse. Now we're gonna go back to boom. There, okay. That would be uh, user error right there. I'm used to push buttons, and I wasn't pulling back far enough. Thought I was already there. Okay. Let's see. If you come to Tucson to drive at home, 
Obviously, you need, you need plates and insurance. You can get neither on the on the salvage title it's on right now. Um, in order to get plates, we have to take it to the cops and get a level three inspection done. Then we can get uh, what's called the restored salvage title. We charge two hundred dollars to do that before you get here, or before it ships out. If you want us to do it for you before you have it shipped out, okay? Um, that's two hundred dollars. If you're going to come here to drive it home, that's mandatory. Uh, then there's. Um, a dock fee of $250, and then there's taxes, of course. Taxes are 2% city sales tax here in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. So if your state tax rate is 5%, you'll pay 7%. If it's 3%, you'll pay 5 Real simple. If you come here, add 2% to your state tax, add $250 for dock fee, and add $200 to restore the title so that you can get plates and insurance. Okay? If you pay by wire and ship, all you're obligated to pay is the agreed upon price and that's it. Unless you want to add $200 and have us restore it before it leaves uh, on the shipping truck, which I strongly advise you do unless, you're, uh, unless you know what you're doing and you can do it yourself, okay? Deposit is $500. Um, once we receive your deposit, we'll put your name and a banner over the truck at wheelconnects.com and you'll know it's yours. Until then, it is for sale. So please make sure you get that deposit in. Low mile, regular cab, dually like this. In this condition, extremely rare. This is gonna go quickly, do not screw around, okay? Um, let's see, what else? Blah, blah, blah. Um, oh, a little bit more about the pay by wire. Once you pay by wire, if you're gonna ship, um, once we receive your wire, we'll fill out the title with your name or company's name and address. We'll sign it off, notarize it, scan it in your online file and mail it to you. We'll even uh, scan the envelope in that we mail it to you in. Once you have the truck shipped to you, um, we will uh, you'll be able to take the title that you have in the mail and the truck and go get your plates it's real simple if you ship um well this seems nice this thing drives like brand new well twenty thousand miles right wow what a nice truck um last part of this speech is warranty speech oddly enough being an 04 it's uh not over uh, over factory warranty on miles but it is by year so the warranty is over uh, the people at Ford gave it X amount of miles and X amount of years for a reason. You know, uh, this thing needed two injectors and it had 23,000 miles on it. Uh, undoubtedly from just sitting and not moving forever and, you know, that's what happens. But uh, that's the type of thing that you can expect, you know, and that's what Ford knew when they said X amount of miles and X amount of years. And uh, it's past that many years. And basically what I'm saying is there's some risk involved. This is a hell of a truck. It's freaking extremely low miles, but it doesn't mean it's not going to break the day you get it, okay? If you don't like the prospect of having risk, then please don't buy anything from us, because there's risk. We're not going to tell you that things aren't going to break, because that would be BS. It will break eventually, and it may break the day you get it, okay? So if, if you really are risk averse, and you really don't want to take any chances, if you don't want any risk at all, uh, go buy a new one, uh, and it'll be better for you and us, okay? Um, I can't see anything happening more than maybe another injector at some point. It could be tomorrow. Or it could be a year from now. Um, if you want to deal with the uh, EGR issue, we do offer a package for that in our ads. Oh, shoot, I'm tangled up in my earphones. Better put that back in, huh? Plug the seatbelt back in. <laughs> um in our ad, there's a $2,400. We will do a bulletproof EGR cooler with a brand new Ford oil cooler, the gaskets and filters, and an IPR for $2,400. Smoking deal. Um, only for our buying customers who buy a truck from us, and only if you do it, if you pay for it before you take possession. After, it goes to $3,500 for a buyer, and off the street, it's $4,500. Um, we just want people to be happy. It's a nice little service. And if you want it, this one's got such low miles. Change the oil a lot. Change the air filter. You should be okay. But, uh, you know, you never know. This is what they do. Uh, every truck's got its bugaboo. That's this one's. You know, Duramax has injectors. Cummins has uh, trannies and dusted motors. Um, so, you know, of all the, of all the things to do uh, preemptively, this is pretty cheap fix if you want to make sure. Personally, I wouldn't do it. I would just buy it the way it is, change the oil a lot, change the air filter a lot, and you should be fine. All right? Anyway, that is it. Very nice truck. Thank you.